Division One's youngest head coach is 31-year-old Pat Fitzgerald. He's one of the greatest Northwestern Wildcats ever, one of the most decorated Big Ten defensive players ever, two-time Lombardi and Big Nerrick Award winner, the heart of Gary Barnett's Rose Bowl team. Now, Fitzgerald steps in for the late Randy Walker, who passed away in June from heart failure at the age of 52. Thursday, Fitzgerald played and won a very emotional opener at Miami of Ohio. That's the school where Randy Walker was a great running back. His memory honored by both schools before the game. Very somber. And the widow of Randy Walker, Tammy Walker, was there for the coin toss. You could see the emotion on the face of Northwestern and Fitzgerald. It was an emotional scene in the locker room. After the game, they presented the game ball to Tammy Walker. A tremendous moment. The first of many challenges upcoming for Pat Fitzgerald. As Chris Conley reports, the Chicago native who wore number 51 like fellow Southsider Dick Buckus has never flinched at a challenge. <laughs> Just four years after starring as a two-time All-American linebacker at Northwestern, a 25-year-old Pat Fitzgerald interviewed for an assistant coaching job at his alma mater in 2001. Head coach Randy Walker knew all about Fitzgerald's past, but wanted to hear about his goal for the future. I looked him right in the eye and said, I want your job. You know, and I'd, I'd at some point love to be the head football coach here at Northwestern. And his direct response to that wasn't, well, who's this brash 25-year-old guy that I don't know? It was, okay, we're going to work towards that goal, and, and I'm going to push you to be that, uh, that guy someday. Randy Walker did just that, envisioning that his linebacker coach, Pat Fitzgerald, would someday succeed him as head coach of the Wildcats. I think he really identified with Pat a lot. They're very similar. And, you know, Pat, he, he'd say, Pat's from the south side Chicago. I'm from small town Ohio. But it's amazing how similar our upbringings were. He was the most brutally honest person I've ever been around in my life. Not only with us as coaches, our players, everyone that touched our program. He didn't tell you what you wanted to hear. He told you what you needed to hear. After a heart attack claimed Randy Walker's life far too soon, his players paid tribute to that honesty at an emotional funeral service. One of the players that came through the line after the reception, who they had some run-ins, you know, while he was here, and and the kid had tears streaming down his face, and he said it wasn't always good, but I knew it was good for me. When Pat Fitzgerald was named head coach a few days later. Keeping Tammy Walker close to the program was a priority for him. Everyone would have understood if Tammy Walker had chosen to spend some time apart from the team. Instead, she chose to lend her support. I appreciate the fact that they are embracing me because I'm so interested and I, I'm their number one fan, you know, and I want them to do great this year. Fitzgerald has worked with his players to keep Randy Walker's legacy alive, as his widow recently discovered one evening at her home. I turned around and looked out the window, and the whole front yard was filled with Northwestern football players. And I said I couldn't do this without crying. Um, and they, um, so I opened the door, and um, Joel Howes handed me a book that he had put together. So I was happy to see her up there but you know she was kind of I mean she started crying you know I think it was just because she was happy but she missed him and so just kind of my heart was kind of crying out for her. Several of the players had written something about Randy or to Randy or to me the, the different styles and he put it in a book typed it up and, and put pictures in and he handed it to me and they sang the fight song so I was serenaded by a hundred guys. <laughs> about first verse into it she started tearing up and I went up and gave her a hug, and so there was about 90 guys waiting in line to give, give a woman a hug. I just stood there crying and smiling. What a wonderful surprise. Just, but, but yet not, because they're just great kids. They're great kids. Some of them were crying, too. <laughs> I know they miss him, too. No one more than Pat Fitzgerald, who hopes not only that his first season is a success, but also that it honors Randy Walker's memory.
And this is the toughest lesson that he's ever taught us, but still it is a lesson in life. And it's time for us to respond, to focus, and to use him as our 12th man and use the tough times that we've learned through this experience to focus and, and uh, really continue his legacy.